Welcome to this introduction on how to create a custom query with XLGL. In this lesson, we will introduce custom query creation in XLGL. This is an advanced topic and requires some technical knowledge of relational databases. When creating a table or a free form report, you may sometimes need more flexibility in selecting the data you want than that which is offered by the XLGL drag and drop interface. In such a case, you can select Custom Query and click Apply. The Query Builder window opens, presenting you with the design area. You can resize the different panels to suit your need. On the right side, you can access available tables of data by expanding Sage 50 tables. This will list the actual tables of data in Sage 50. These will give you the best performance when creating custom queries. The tables and their fields are documented in the Sage 50 help file, found under the help menu in Sage 50. Click help topics and type DAT in the index search box. Select data files from the list. This page gives you detailed information on all the tables and fields accessible to build your custom query. For example, we can find the table that stores customer information and see the fields that we need. Let's make a list of customers by contact name with their phone numbers. In the Sage 50 tables list, we find the table for customer and drag and drop it to the design area. Next, we'll check the fields we want to add to get the contact name and phone number. The fields are added to the expression list. We'll give better names to the columns generated by changing the column name property for each expression. Enter contact name, then phone number. At any time, we can preview the result of the query by clicking the run button. The preview panel will show the result of our query with the column name we specified. If you are an advanced user and want to see or edit the generated SQL command, click the show SQL button. You can make changes directly in the SQL command. For example, we'll add the customer ID to the list of fields. When we click anywhere in the design area, the display is synchronized to the changes we made. Once we're happy with our customer query, we click save and close to import the result into our workbook. The generated table is dynamic like any other XLGL table and will update when you click the refresh button on the XLGL ribbon. You can also edit the query at any time by clicking edit query on the XLGL layout ribbon. This will take you back to the query builder where you can make your changes. Let's add the fax number in case anyone is still using one of those. It is recommended to always run your query before exiting to make sure that it works properly. When you're ready, click Save and Close to return to Excel. Note that the fax number was not added to our table automatically. We can drag and drop it from the Layouts panel where we want it on the worksheet. This has been an introduction on how to create a custom query with XLGL. Continue watching to learn more about XLGL and how you can use it to achieve outstanding reports.